Hi. Talking about wishes. I wish. I wish that I own this house. I wish that I can have Lamborghini. I wish... Well, not me, actually. <laughs> she wishes to have a Lamborghini. She wishes to have this mansion. You know, we all wish things and wishing is a very critical thing. The bottom line of wishing and to keep it short, it will get you absolutely to nowhere. You keep on wishing, think about it, you keep on wishing. It's like, you know, uh, when you have this glass of water in front of you and the more, the more you get closer, it gets a bit further. You get closer, it gets further and you never reach your goal because you're wishing. Wishing is not doing. When I say that I want to do something, I want this thing, I want this car, I want this house, it's totally different because this will motivate you of doing things. But wishing, you will be staying in the same place, imagining things, dreaming about things. And if I will talk about it uh, from a vibration perspective, it will be feeling, you know, the feelings uh, relating to this thing, to the wishing thing is lack and after that you wake up and and you uh, remember that you don't have this thing so it fills you with frustration it makes you lazy because you're sitting there just you know wandering around and just dreaming about things and doing nothing and the main the main thing is lack you will always feel that you lack this thing and the more you think about lack and not having something you will be having more of this it means that you will be having more of lacking this thing and in the end you will get the opposite of it because sitting there doing nothing thinking about it nothing is happening you will be staying the same or even worse because you will be like you know, full of sometimes anger, sometimes sadness. And as you can see, it's all surrounded by uh, very bad feelings, very bad vibrations. So when you want something, this is when you get to the uh, first step of reaching to what you want. So it's you think that when you dream about you know there are two types of dreaming and meditating meditating with something that you want and you think you can get is that you get it at the same time it's not like what you really want you know once i was thinking about uh, the boots you know the long ones which uh, they are over the knees and uh, that was very long time ago, like 15 years ago, you know, when this style came up and uh, uh, I wanted to have it. I, uh, th there was one in specific, uh, Christian Dior thing, there was one in specific and I did all what I can, you know, to, to, to attract it. And uh, at that time, I think it wasn't uh, yet at the market where I lived and uh, I wanted to have it. I found a photo of it in a, in a magazine and I cut it and I put it in front of me and every time, every day I used to look at it, you know, just wish to have it. And imagine I had it. It was a gift from a friend of mine, you know, on my birthday and I was really, I was shocked that how things work. At the same time, my wishing was involved and it was by believing that I'm going to have this one way or another, I will have it, definitely. There was a lost key within it, I'm about to say now. Anyways, I had it. I had it as a gift from a friend on my birthday and I was so happy with it and I bought it like once or twice. And then the second time I felt that it was a bit small and 
my feet began to hurt and I never wore it after that. I just left it in the cabinet and you know, it was a lost wish actually. What, what is happening here, I'm telling you this story because what's happening here is, first of all, the mistake I did is only wishing I didn't go myself and, and do something about it. The, and, and the most important thing is I related it to my thoughts only without relating it to God. You see, when you want to have something, when you when you wish to have something, you don't know if it's good for you, if it's bad for you. And God knows, because God knows what's beyond more than a human being. I don't know what's behind this wall. I don't know what's behind this wall. God knows. You don't know if you wish to have this mansion, for example, that it's going to be good for you and you will not be having like negative vibrations because you don't know what's beyond this mansion. God knows more if it's good for you or not. The same thing goes with a position or if you want to, to buy a car, you don't know what's going on. Of course, you, you feel confidence and everything. At the same time, whatever confidence you have, you will not be fully 100% confident about something, especially when it comes to what's beyond it or what's after. You don't know. I fill myself with optimism and I go forward, okay? At the same time, I'm relating all this and I trust this path or this road because I relate it to God, because God knows more than I do. And I trust that I would reach where I want to be, or at least there would be light in the end of a dark road. Wishing that when you relate it to God, it is asking, it's not wishing. And if you want to have something, if you want to have something, you can always ask God to give it to you. So if it's good for you, you will have it. If not, then you will know that it's not good for you because you related it to God, so you feel good within you. You don't feel frustrated or the lack of this thing. I was once, when I started uh, doing this process, when I started asking even little things, you know, from the Creator, my life turned like one 180 degree to the better. Everything I want, I'm having. At the same time, uh, I feel good when I don't have it. I feel convinced that it's not good for me. And it's not something that I lie to myself about. This is the truth. This is the real thing. It's not something that you think that okay, you always think positive. So even if you don't have the thing that you wished for, you always interpret it in a, in a, in a positive way. No, it's a fact that when you don't get something, when you ask for it and when you, when you don't get it, it means that it is not meant to be for you. So it's not good for you. Maybe at this stage, maybe at a later stage, if you keep on asking, you will get it maybe when you deserve it, meaning that you are prepared to have this thing. So many people, they have things and, and they are not ready, meaning, and they don't deserve what they're having, not in a negative way. What I meant by not deserving it, it means that they are not prepared to have this thing. Like, for example, people who win the lottery, uh, they, they, they gain like millions of dollars and then they just fade away without knowing what to do with it. It means that they're not prepared for what they're having. They, when I say they don't deserve what they're having, it means that they're not prepared for what they're having. So the, the, the way it came, the way it went away, it faded away. They didn't invest. They didn't do anything useful uh, with it, you know. So this is what I mean by you don't deserve. 
So you, you didn't reach the level of deserving or uh, being ready to have what you are wishing for. When you're related to God, God will, 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 will prepare you to have this at the right time without you even knowing it. Since you ask for it and, and you're doing, asking it will make you think, first of all, that God can do it for you. At the same time, we cannot just ask without doing anything. It's a, it's a, it's a process that you must do, that when you ask, you need to take action at least prepare yourself, your vibrations. A woman cannot ask to have uh, a good, nice husband and she's not prepared for it, or she's always sad or feeling down, or she's not a happy person, or she's not taking care of herself. So when you ask, you will, you will feel the motivation and you will be prepared for all that because you believe that God will give it to you. It's totally different when you wish for it and you feel that it's so far and even if you get closer and for example a woman who's wishing to meet the right person she gets closer and the relationship doesn't work because she's wishing the vibrations around it is lag so she will feel that uh, she's attached too much attached and when you are too much attached to something it will fade away definitely because the, the vibrations will be too intensive for the th for the thing for you to have all the vibrations all the feelings surrounding wishing are really bad feelings wanting then asking and doing this will make a huge difference in your life you know at the end of the day you don't want to life is not about just sitting there and, and wishing for things to happen for you they will never happen. Life is about working and doing and preparing yourself and having this motivation in order to have a better life. It's by moving, it's by interacting, it's by boosting yourself, motivating yourself, and all this you will get from God because you believe that He's the one and only and He can do it, He can help you with doing this for you and, and giving whatever you want in life if you deserve it, if you are prepared for it.